Welcome back to Art of Etude, so let's jump right back in. I'm going to use this Martelet Heavy Caprice to continue on the subject matter covered in episodes 21 and 22 and elaborate on subtle articulation in the bow arm, especially during shorter strokes and what goes on physically during execution. Even when there's little bow and time for that matter to work with when executing a short stroke, the development of a wide variety of ways to start, develop, and even taper a stroke could increase the amount of expressive potential and vigor we could bring to a passage. So let's break down the bow arm into its separate components and pay special attention to the subtle mechanics of the wrist and fingers in relation to those of the arm. Let's take a peek now at some different possibilities. In this first example, with the arm initiating the motion and slowly at first, the wrist actively takes it upon itself to amplify that underlying momentum at the start of the stroke, resulting in an immediate sharp attack and release. The second example is similar to the first, except the wrist this time is initially passive, only to follow through actively later in the stroke. This is suitable for a more rounded, portato-like stroke, yet still with energy. Another example is motion in the wrist and fingers only, and that means the arm stays still. To train the wrist to work on its own could be very helpful in concise strokes near the frog that still need a lot of incisiveness as well as density of tone. A variant of the third example, actually combining elements from the first example as well, could be useful to add more broadness to the bounce of a spiccato stroke, for instance. Starting again only with the wrist and fingers and feeling the activity in the muscles, slowly add some arm motion back in there, as well as a scoop motion in the wrist and fingers, like so. Just like a simple up and down.
One last example is to generate momentum in the arm, employing as much natural weight as possible, while the wrist and fingers stay relatively firm and stable, resulting in a feeling of solidity throughout the stroke. This could be useful in a short, powerful detaché, for instance. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching as always, and please like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it useful, and leave any questions you might have in the comments below. Cheers.